Hello students, welcome to BioSmart Academy. In today's lecture, I will discuss about a very important thing that is about the preparation strategy. About the preparation strategy. Okay. So that, how can you prepare in the last one month, in the last one month, so that you can, you can crack this CSI net exam. Okay. See students, uh, a very simple thing. You already missed a one session of CSI net, and you have to crack this exam, especially for those students who already give their three to four attempts. Okay, and didn't qualify. So you have to prepare in this last one month. I know that you prepare for the last few months very well, very hard work you have done till now. But in the last one month, you have to do some smart works. So that you can you can get this exam, you can crack this exam, CSI and NET. Okay, so here I will going to discuss about how can you prepare in the last one month so that you can crack this exam. Okay, so this video will definitely benefited you, definitely benefited you, and if you like this video, then definitely share to all those students who are preparing for this exam. Okay, I just want that uh, every student should uh, watch this because they have to have to know how to uh, tackle this one month last one month okay because there are many students who basically afraid of the examination as the examination came near but if you make a special strategy in the last one month then you can easily get this exam okay so in this in this lecture i i will going to uh, discuss what are the major things okay so first i will going to discuss how how you can achieve 120 marks okay why 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 one why 120 marks i will discuss in detail secondly i will discuss what should be your study plan in the last one month so that you can get this exam and third and the most important thing i will going to discuss is that what question you should select in the csi net exam so that you get this exam so that you qualify this exam okay so all these things i will going to discuss in this lecture and i bet you that you definitely get benefited from this so please watch this lecture till end okay so now let's start as you all know that already date were given by the nta that is 19 november 21st november and 26th november and 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 you don't know where where basically the exam of which subject on which date the exam will going to occur for example if i uh, if i will going to discuss here about the life science strategy so if i want to know the date of life science i don't know so we have to take 19 as ultimatum date and if you take 19 as the ultimatum date then you left only one month one month one two days okay so you have to make a strategy so that you can get this exam within this um, uh, one month of period time and by combining your hard work of last few months okay so let's start so first here i will going to discuss about the 120 marks 120 marks okay so what is this 120 marks strategy okay so what is this 120 marks strategy okay so 120 marks means is that if you see the previous cut of csir if you see the previous cut of of csir net exam you will see that for a general category, the highest cutoff is 120 marks for a general category. And I will take as a general category as a whole because if you target this 120 marks, then you can crack this exam at any category. Okay. So that's why I will take general category as a whole. Okay. And 120 marks, you should target 120 marks. Okay. You should target 120 marks. So, how can you achieve this 120 marks? How can you get this 120 marks? Okay, I will going to discuss. So, you have to do some mathematical calculations. Okay. See, 
you all know that there are three sections section a section b and section c okay and out of this section a section b and section c in section a there are 20 question and out of this 20 question you have to attempt 15 question in section b there are 50 questions out of this 15 question you have to attempt 35 question and in section c there are 75 questions and out of this 75 question you have to attempt only 25 question you all know this okay but you have to attempt as you have to make a strategy you, you have to make a strategy so that you get this 120 marks okay see if you look at a question of section a in the previous csi net examination then according to my experience you can easily easily solve four to five question and easily get 10 marks okay but but i take that i take only six marks that that is you attempt only three question that is you attempt only three question and the marks you got is six this is a marks okay the marks is uh, and this is a attempt okay and the marks you got is six okay you just Uh, do only three question and you got six marks clear in section b out of 50 question i took 50 question and out of 50 question if you do a good study na then you can easily get 40 marks easily get 14 marks that is you easily attempt 25 question 25 to 28 questions and out of that i took 40 marks by taking the negative marking by taking the negative marking i mm, took that you got 40 marks okay and in section c out of 25 question you should attempt 25 question here i just want to recommend you that you should attempt 25 question in section c if you not able to attempt 25 question then you should attempt at least 23 to 24 question but not more than less but not less than this okay sorry but not less than this you should attempt at least 23 to 24 question and out of this 23 to 24 question you should get you should get okay you should get at least 76 marks that is i want that you should you should do correct 19 question okay by taking the negative marking okay so if you add these marks that is 76 plus 6 and plus 40 then you will get 122 marks that is cross this 120 marks it means you can see from this uh, mathematical calculation that 122 marks is not so hard to obtain okay just you have to focus on the questions that what type of question you should attempt you should focus on the options you should read the options very carefully you should read the key points of the question that what basically asked in the question okay and if you do all these things very carefully then you easily get 6 marks in section a 40 marks in section b and 76 marks in section c easily you can achieve and your total will become 122 and you can easily crack grf okay so this is the first preparation strategy that basically i going to i basically uh, deliver you okay i basically deliver you this is the first preparation strategy okay now that is the 120 marks now the second strategy is that what you should read what you should read in this one month so that you can get more and more question and you can solve more and more question okay so let's look at the second strategy see so see it's a fact that to qualify csi net life science exam if you if you if you well prepared eight sections i mean to say eight module very well then you can easily crack it but you have to prepare this eight model very well okay okay according to me you should prepare what model or what module according to me you should prepare what module here i will going to discuss and how you should read that modules what topic you should focus i will going to discuss okay so according to me you should prepare module number 1 that is biochemistry that is module number 1 that is biochemistry 
module number two that is cell biology module number three that is molecular biology module number four that is immunology and cancer biology immunology and uh, you can say cancer biology okay module number five that is developmental biology okay developmental biology module number six that is that is plant physiology plant physiology you should left module number seven if you are basically uh, uh, don't like to attempt that module okay just do should do some topics of module seven okay if you interested in that for example nervous system excretory system hormones etc but if you want to strict on this eight module okay and if we if you are from botany background then you should attend plant physiology module if you are from animal physiology background you should attend that animal uh, module that is human physiology human physiology module and if you from other background either biotechnology microbiology any 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 background uh, according to your interest you should uh, choose either module 6 or module 7 okay or module 7 out of these two module you should choose only one module according to your area of interest if you want to study botany then you should mo choose module 6 and if you want to study physiology then you should choose seven okay eight module number eight genetics very important and module number 13 techniques very important and uh, 10 and 11 are basically uh, basically you can say ecology and evolution you should read so these are the things that you should have to read okay these are the things that you should have to read out of this biochemistry module cell biology module molecular biology module module 4 immunology module 5 developmental bio biology module 6 or 7 any one you have to choose any one okay and genetics techniques okay so 2 plus 3 and plus 3 6 plus 2 8 and you have to read ecology and evolution as well because uh, many times are there in examination you get a very easy question from these two modules so if you well prepared these modules, if you well prepared this module, that is module 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 or 7, either any 1, 8, 13 and 10, 11, then you definitely going to crack this exam. But you have to prepare well all this module, okay. So this is an important thing, okay. Another important thing is that, so I can say rather than 8 module, you should prepare at least 10 module. At least 10. You should prepare at least 10 module, okay, to crack this exam. So what should you read? Okay, don't don't read the unnecessary things first and foremost thing is that. What do you mean by unnecessary things? You should should first read the question paper. You should first solve the question paper of previous three uh, three years. That is, you should uh, solve the question paper at least eight questions. At least eight paper you should solve. Okay, at least eight papers eight paper you should solve, and. From that, you analyze that what type of question they basically asked from these modules, okay? And just note it down and read that topics and read that topics, okay? For example, for example, if I want to say that what you should read in biochemistry. So, in biochemistry, you should read protein part, you should read enzyme part, you should read metabolism part, you should read uh, some somewhat uh, lipid and carbohydrate part as well. Okay, but the most important you should read protein and enzyme and metabolism part. So these are the most important. What should you read in cell biology? For example, you should re have to read in cell biology the transportation part. That how a, how a protein uh, transported into organelle by different by knowing the different signal sequence. Okay, for example, uh, for uh, transport to mitochondria there is need different signal sequence okay for transport to paroxysm it need different si signal sequence for example transport to GRL system that is nucleus uh, and all other all that transportation system you should read in cell biology because many times question basically asks from the transportation from mitochondria okay uh, that is steam tom complex that is uh, and and terminal cleavable matrix sequence that is uh, when basically that signal is transported to the matrix so you definitely get question from this apart from that you should read the endocytosis part very well definitely you get question from that okay and apart from that you should read the active and passive transport abc transporters uh, and type of atpases all these things 
very important from cell bioportion. For molecular biology, you have to read transcription, RNA processing. This two is most important. Apart from that, you should read replication. Replication because uh, uh, because uh, uh, in the previous question paper that is December 2019, you uh, they at least I if I uh, if I uh, remember correctly, then there I think there is two questions from replication. Okay, so that was also important as well as translation. Immunology, you have to read. You definitely get two questions. Very simple question for immunology. Developmental biology. You should follow Gilbert. You should read Drosophila pattern. You should read C. elegans. You should read limb formation. You should read amphibian axis formation. All this. And either from plant and human physiology. You choose one and read that. Genetics. You should do the mathematical portion. That is uh, pedigree for example. That is... Uh, uh, basically that uh, simple tricky uh, probability questions okay and uh, also from the basically bacterial genetics mathematical questions that is with basically given on plus minus plus minus form okay you should it and techniques see students one thing i want to clear you that you have to read technique as a whole because according to me technique is the most important if you want to do phd in future you should know the, you should know technique for example chromatography electrophoresis fret fret radio immunoassay that is immuno immunotechnics for immunotechnics radio immunoassay elisa southern blot northern blot western blot all these techniques dna footprinting okay dna footprinting emsa chip chip all these techniques you should have to read you have to read microscopy very important you should have to know about the microscopes you have to read and the last two module that is 10 and 11 if you read these two module uh, and if you solve the previous equation from these two module then you will be able to solve the question on exam so this is a preparation strategy that how should you read the uh, modules how should you attempt this module what to read what not to read okay so this all i discuss in this section okay now the third and the most important question that is what question you should select on csr net exam what questions you should select what questions you should select in the net exam question paper okay so first you have to target the mazda column Mazda column. There are many questions are there given on Mazda column, and if you target Mazda column, and if you if you know, uh, remember one thing: Mazda column is the most easiest part of CSI net question paper that you can solve it easily. If you know only one single information, okay, about the question, so you have to target the Mazda column first. This is the most important because uh, if you look at the paper of CSI, you find. Lots of master column questions are there. So you have to target this first. Second, you have to target those questions which are basically given as option as A, B, C or A, B, D or B, C, D like this. Because, because suppose, suppose, suppose the answer is B, C, D. Suppose the answer is B, C, D. And if you know the, if you know the, a option is wrong and if you cut this A option then this option is automatically cut and only one option is remained that is B, C, D. So this type of question is very easy. If you know only one option that is wrong or right then you can easily, easily, easily solve this question. So this is a second type of question that basically asked on CSI and that can you easily, easily uh, solve this type of question. Okay. And third and the most important thing you should attempt those questions which are from your background which you prepared most which you prepare which you prepare well which you prepare well you should attempt that type of question for example if you prepare biochemistry very well then you have to attempt the protein part questions you have to attempt the question from enzymes you have to go attempt the question from uh, disease related question for example alkaptonuria disease caused due to which enzyme for example uh, uh, basically muscular dystrophy caused due to which type of enzyme for example autosomal recessive disorders autosomal dominant disorder so you have to attempt all this for example uh, uh, the vitamin table that was basically you have to read that is vitamin b12 vitamin b6 
vitamin B1. Okay, so you have to attempt all that. Okay, so these are the three types of question you should attempt. First and foremost, Mazda column. Very, very important. Definitely get many questions from Mazda column. So students, these are the three preparation strategy that I want to provide you from myself. Okay, and I hope that you find this strategy uh, well and if you like it then please share to other students as well and on our bios bio smart Academy youtube channel you find many lectures on cell biology immunology as well as on biochemistry and all that lectures that basically made on this youtube channel and in future all the lectures that were basically uploaded on this youtube channel will strictly on the basis of csi native syllabus if you look at all the lectures if you know the net syllabus if you know the important things about the net syllabus and if you look at the lectures then you will find that all the lectures are made according to important csi net syllabus okay so you should watch all that lectures cell biology and uh, that's all you should follow our youtube channel because definitely if you follow then definitely you get benefited so that's all for today's lecture thank you thank you very much stay safe stay happy and stay healthy and read as much as you can but read smartly read smartly okay prepare those modules that you know that you can attempt that questions uh, or you can attempt question from that module in exam okay so thank you